Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're gonna take a look at something really unique and something that came a little early. This behind me is the Godzilla 70th edition from Stern. It's black and white and it's been designed to celebrate Godzilla's 70th anniversary. Everyone knows Godzilla was a super popular game by Stern. Some say it's the best game ever. I own one and absolutely love it. But this came a bit early because everyone is expecting this to be featured at San Diego Comic-Con and that's what the official press release said, but it snuck its way into Southern Fried Gaming Expo, and Marco brought two of them for you to enjoy. So if you do see this video, and it's still time, and the show is still going on, you can come down and check it out, but if not, the next stop is gonna be San Diego Comic-Con. So what makes this game so unique? It's the original game, but presented in black and white to celebrate the 70th. It has this really awesome sheen to it. It has this foiled artwork, and then if you look on the side, it has Godzilla in Japanese lettering, but in red, so it really pops out. The game itself is the same exact game, but all of the items on the playfield have been put in this high-def grayscale kind of look, again, to celebrate the 70th in this black and white look. The back glass is also black and white. The only other thing I'll say that you'll see that really makes this game different is that the LCD in the back is gonna have a mode where you can run it also in black and white to go along with the whole idea that this is a black and white theme. It does have side armor, which Stern seems to be doing on most of their more recent premium games. It doesn't come at an LE price tag. It's actually $9,699. I did get a chance to play it yesterday, and I own the full color one, but I gotta say, it's pretty cool. There's something about it that really makes it pop, and if you're not a Godzilla owner, this would be a pretty cool one to pick up, and you get a couple little extra bonuses that you don't get if you bought the original one. So anyways, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you a little bit more around the game so you can check it out and take a closer look, and then I'll give you some final thoughts. Okay, so I just wrapped up playing, and my honest thoughts are, it's, it's beautiful, right? It's, it's the same game we know and love, but in black and white. So I, don't, I think I'm kind of that victim who gets really excited about anything new. It's just how I am. And pinball's been really cool because there continues to be new stuff being released, so it's, it's easy to get wrapped up in the hype of it. But, um, but if you didn't own this machine yet, this would be an awesome version because you're getting some unique upgrades. You're getting the side armor, the foil in the artwork, which you know some people put their machine side to side and they'll never see it. But man, does it look really, really nice. The promise is that the code, so here they haven't featured it, but there should be a setting uh, in the code for the LCD to have that be in black and white as well. It plays amazing, just like the premium, the original premium does. Yeah, I think my take is, I really like it, it's beautiful. I already own one, and it's gonna be interesting if I feel compelled enough to get rid of the one I have for this one. I don't know, I still haven't decided, but I gotta admit, I make poor choices. So don't listen to me, go take a look at it for yourself, whether you can do it here or San Diego Comic-Con, or just be like me and be crazy. Well, I didn't order it yet, and pre-order something you haven't seen, but I'll tell you, if you're asking if it's beautiful or not, it is beautiful. The one thing that keeps coming up is people keep asking, because it's a black and white play field, is it hard to see the ball? And no, it's not hard to see the ball. Uh, someone made this funny, like, predator meme and went, people are acting like, uh, you know, you can't see it because it camouflages itself, which I thought was really funny, but no. It's easy to play, it's fun to play, it's freaking Godzilla, so it's amazing. So you can't go wrong buying this game because it's super fun. Again, the cost is $9,699, same as the premium, but you're getting uh, a couple things that you would typically get with the LE. Anyways, that's it for now, guys. I'm gonna go play. I'm at Southern Fried Gaming Expo. I wanna have some fun. So I will see you on the next one.